This video is part two of the tutorials on rotoscoping in Create Studio Pro. In this part, we will make the spies sneaking around action look more natural. Keep watching and I'll show you how. This is Randy with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. Part one of rotoscoping showed how to move objects frame by frame when the spy used the reveal his jacket action. There is a link in the description to the rotoscoping part one tutorial. You may wonder why I chose to rotoscope the spy sneaking around action. Why not use a position animation, which is the animation used for any character's walking action. Unlike a character's walking action where their feet are moving at a constant rate, the spy sneaking around action has his feet pause momentarily. So, no matter the duration of the position animation, there will be some noticeable slippage of the spy's feet. I have tried many durations and there is just no getting around this slippage. It is particularly noticeable on the near foot as you can see here. I did not immediately resort to rotoscoping. Initially, I tried position animations for each stride of the spy. It looks something like this. I added a position animation for one stride that had a linear easing. When the spy's foreground foot touched the ground is where I moved the end keyframe. I then moved the playhead ahead seven frames and added another position animation, again moving the end keyframe to the point where the front foot touched the ground. After some experimentation, I discovered the distance the spy covers with each stride and updated the X position accordingly. That was a major improvement, but there was still too much sliding of the feet for my liking, so my solution was to rotoscope to make sure that the foot on the ground stayed in position. As we learned in part one, rotoscoping is tedious work so you will only want to do all that work just one time and keep it so that you can use it for your future projects. That means when the rotoscoping is complete, save it to my scenes for those future projects. Okay, now that we know what to do, let's start from scratch to see how it is done. Drag the spy onto the canvas and change the action to sneaking around. I will size this track to last for 5 seconds and 26 frames. How did I come up with that value? That is the time it takes for the spy to take two full strides and also pivot into and out of the walking motion. So place the playhead at 5 seconds and 26 frames and then click on the end marker of the sneaking around track and drag it to that playhead. At the start of the track, move the spy to the left side of the canvas. I placed them at an X position of 800 pixels. As I manually advance the playhead, I see the spy will plant his back foot and lift the foot in the foreground. So for the first step, I will want to keep the back foot in position. I will need something to mark where the foot should stay and I like using the vertical guideline for that purpose. Above the canvas, click on the ruler icon and add a vertical line. With your mouse, drag the line so that it touches the edge of the back shoe. With the sneaking around track selected, hit the P key, which is the keyboard shortcut for a position animation. Drag the last keyframe all the way to the left. You may find it easier to work with the keyframes if the timeline is expanded all the way. Click on the last keyframe and the playhead will jump to that frame. Now with the left arrow key on your keyboard, move the spy so that his back shoe is touching the guideline. Hit the P key, drag the last keyframe all the way left, Mouse click on the last keyframe and move the spy until the shoe touches the guideline. You will continue to do that each frame until the front foot is the one planted on the ground.
At frame 14 is where the spy's front foot hits the ground, so this is when to move the guideline to touch the front shoe. Click and drag the guideline. Now continue adding position animations for each frame and align the foot with the guideline until you need to switch the guideline to the back foot again. Here is a tip. Each time you enter the left or right arrow on the keyboard, the spy will move one pixel. But when the spy is far from the guideline, use the shift plus arrow key to move the spy 10 pixels at a time. Repeat these steps until the spy starts to turn and face forward. That is how to rotoscope the spy sneaking around action so that it does not have any foot sliding on the ground. With that complete, you will want to save it to My Scenes. You first need to group the track, and my tip is to give the group a meaningful name like Sneaky Spy. Then save the group to My Scenes. That way, you can use your Sneaky Spy in future projects. I added this scene to a video where the spy was hiding behind these light poles. There you go. That is how to rotoscope the sneaking around action and save it for future projects. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.